This video is a brief demonstration of the addition of a new node into an HC3 cluster. As you'll see here, we are cloning a VM already on HC3. This is a feature built into HyperCore, HC3's operating system. And as we add this, notice that our disk utilization actually is not increased because we are making use of the thin clone nature of that VM. But as we start the VM up and assign the RAM resources required for that VM to run, we actually hit a threshold that alerts the end user that we have insufficient RAM to restart the VMs if there were a failure in one of the nodes in the system that would cause a failover. To alleviate this, we simply add a node. HyperCore will automatically aggregate the resources of that node into the overall resource pool available on the cluster with no downtime to the running VMs. In fact, VMs with I.O. bound workloads will actually see an increase in performance as they now have access to those new disks to wide stripe across all of the disks in the system. In order to make use of the compute resources of this new node, we simply live migrate our VMs to that new node. Adding new nodes to HC3 is simple and allows for ultimate flexibility for the end user to match the new node to the workload requirements of their environment. If you need more compute, simply add a compute heavy node. Need more storage? Add a storage only node to scale out the storage without increasing the compute capacity. Need more compute and storage? Mix and match any of the nodes in our HC3 family to meet your specific requirements. If you have more questions or would like to see a live demo of HC3, please visit our website at www.scalecomputing.com and sign up for our weekly demo or give us a call at 877-SCALE-59.